this is a very interesting question shall we do it together okay we are asked to solve for m and m is what real now this particular question is a very easy one so we have that m to the power of n plus m to the power of 6 is equal to 36. Okay, now here, recall the law of exponents or indices that states that a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a raised to the power of mn. That is m times n, right? So let's use this and manipulate this and this, all right? All right. Now, if we look at this place, we can write m to the power of 9 as m to the power of 3 raised to the power of 3, right? Since 3 times 3 will still give us 9. Okay, plus then here should be m raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 36. There are two ways to find that we will use to find this so our advice is stick around and and um see the two methods that i'm going to use okay all right now we have m to the power of three and m to the power of three so let m to the power of three be equal to y okay let's call m to the power of three to be y now if we do that we can now rewrite this as what y to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 2 is equal to 36. Now, if you look at this equation now, you notice that we are we have formed a polynomial, a cubic polynomial, all right? So let's transfer this constant to the left-hand side of the equation. So to do that, we have y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 36 minus what? 36, all right? So we'll have y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So this is a cubic polynomial. So we go ahead and factorize this cubic polynomial. Please don't forget to subscribe and to on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, okay? Now look at this. Let's um use synthetic division and to do that, let's first of all use try and error to get the first factor of this polynomial. Then Rick, I want to also let you know that I have a detailed video on how to solve your polynomial using different methods in this channel. Okay, all right, so you can still go to check other methods you can use to solve a cubic polynomial in that video. Okay, now looking at this, if we say let y equals one. We are going to have 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 squared minus 36. But this will not give us 0. So definitely 1 cannot be used as our y. Okay? So if we do the same, if we do the same for 2, we are still going to get 8 plus 4 minus 36, which will not give us 0. But if we use 3 here, you will see that 3 to the power of y, that is if we say let y equal to 3, so if we say let y equals 3, then that means we have 3 to the power of 3 plus um, 3 squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now 3 to the power of 3 will give us 27 and 3 squared will give us 9 minus 36 is equal to 0. So we have 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. And you can see that this equation is true. Okay, so that means we can say that our y is equal to 3. And if our y is equal to 3, then that means that if y is equal to 3, that means that y, if we subtract 3 from both sides of this equation, we are going to have that y minus 3 is equal to 0. So that means that y minus 3 is what? A factor. A factor of this. Okay, now we need the second factor of this and it's going to be a quadratic equation, all right? Now, to get that quadratic equation, we are going to use synthetic method of division. So, we've already said that our y is equal to 3. So, we are going to use 3 to divide through this, okay? 
So this is what we are going to have. We are going to write the coefficients of all these. We are going to write the coefficients of them here. Now, the coefficients of y to the power of 3 is 1. Coefficient of y squared is 1. Now, there is supposed to be y here. y to the power of 1, right? So that one is 0. Then the coefficient of this one is minus 36, our constant. So we are going to do what? We are going to bring down 1. Bring down this one. Okay, now 3 times 1 is 3. Then you add 1 plus 3 will give us 4. Then you multiply again. 3 times 4 is 12. You write your 12 and you add 0 plus 12 will give us 12. Now 3 times 12 will give us 36. Then you add again. When you add this, you have 0. So this becomes the coefficient of our quadratic equation. Okay. So this becomes the coefficient of our quadratic equation. Now, what do we do next? We have to bring out the quadratic equation from here. It means that the coefficient of y squared is 1. So it's going to be 1y squared plus 4y. And our constant is plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, so y squared plus 4y plus 12 multiplied by y minus 3 we give us this particular equation, y to the power of 3 plus y squared minus 36. So this is what we are going to write now. That's y minus 3 multiplied by y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, if we say that, that means we have two values for our y here, right? Recall that I said I'm going to solve this using two methods. And at the end, when I have gotten the solution, I'm going to substitute it into this equation to ensure that the solution is right. So I advise you watch to the end to see the second and the fastest method you can use to solve this, all right? Okay, now looking at this, we can now say that y minus 3 is equal to 0 and that y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. Okay, now let me use this side. So this is what we have. Y minus 3 is equal to 0. And what? Y squared plus 4Y plus 12 is equal to 0. Now, for this side, our Y is going to be equal to 3, right? Yes. When this minus 3 crosses, it becomes plus 3. Now, for this side, let's find what the determinant of this place is. Since we are told that our M is what is real so let's ensure that this place is going to give us real roots before we start solving so to determine that we need to get the determinant right all right now determinant is what b squared minus 4 ac so this is equal to our b is 4 so it's going to be 4 squared minus 4 times our a is 1 and our c is 12. now when you solve this we have 16 minus 48 and this will give you a number that is less than zero. So because the number you are going to get here is going to be um, less than zero, that means this place will, go, will give us complex roots and we don't need complex roots, okay? So we are definitely not going to make use of this particular value. So we are going to go with the fact that y is equal to three. But recall that what? m to the power of three is equal to y. All right, so we have that y is equal to m to the power of 3. That means we can rewrite this equation. Let's say, let's call it equation 1. That means we can rewrite equation 1 as what? m to the power of 3 is equal to 3. Now, let's take cube roots of both sides of this equation. If we do that, we have cube root of what? m to the power of 3 is equal to cube root of 3. Now, this cube, we uh, cancel this cube root, right? And you are left with m is equal to the cube root of 3. And cube root of 3 can be written as what? 3 to the power of 1 over 3. All right. Now, this is the value of our m. Now, let me show you the fastest method you can use, okay? So, let's use this fastest method. Now, this is it. You are going to start from here. You are going to start from here because... So this place is still the same thing that you're going to do to get to that point. Okay, now, let's go. If you look at this from here, 
you will notice that you can factorize y squared out, right? So you can write y squared bracket. y to the power of 3 divided by this will give us y. Plus y squared divided by y squared will give us 1. Is equal to 36. Okay. Now we can write that y squared bracket y plus 1 is equal to... Now 36 can be written as 9 multiplied by 4. Okay? All right. Now we have y squared is equal to 9. This is equal to this. Okay? That means that our y is equal to square root of 9, which will give us 3. Now, for the second value, y plus 1, y plus 1 is equal to this 4. So this implies also that our y is equal to 3. So using this particular method, you are going to get the value of your y, which is equal to 3, but you will not be able to get the complex value. But since the question says that the, uh, the value is real, so this particular method is also very okay. Now let's check the result that we got. Recall that we said that our y is equal to 3. Then once you say that your y is equal to 3, you know what to do to get the value of your what? M as what? 3 to the power of 1 over 3. So we are now going to substitute. Let's check. Okay? Let's check. We have M to the power of 9 plus M to the power of 6 is equal to what? 36. Now we say um our M is 3 to the power of 1 over 3, right? 3 to the power of 9. Plus this is 3 to the power of 1 over 3 raised to the power of 6 is equal to 36. Okay, now this is same thing as 3 to the power of 1 over 3 multiplied by 9 over 1. Plus 3 to the power of 1 over 3 multiplied by 6 over 1 is equal to 36. Now this, we divide this, we have 3 left here. So this side is 3 to the power of 3. Plus this, we divide this, we have 2. So this side is 3 to the power of 2 is equal to what? 36. So 3 squared is 27 plus, sorry, 3 cubed is 27 and 3 squared is 9 is equal to 36. So 27 plus 9 will give you 36 is equal to 36. So this really shows that our solution is right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.